Christoph Chu from the Christoph Chu Real Estate Group here at Coldwell Banker Beverly Hills. Taking you now from Bel Air, the uh, exit of the Bel Air East Gate, and we're heading towards Beverly Hills. I'm going to give you a little riding tour of Sunset Boulevard between Bel Air and Beverly Hills. So as we're leaving uh, Bel Air, we're now uh, just now headed towards right now this section we just entered past Beverly Glen. This is called Holmby Hills. Uh, this is probably, actually it is, the priciest and the most sought after location in Los Angeles. Uh, even more so than Lower Bel Air. Uh, old money, understated, uh, great properties, uh, incredible wealth here and just some amazing, amazing homes. Uh, my wife and I had the privilege of living here in Holmby Hills for about eight months when I had a $30 million home for sale. That was a lot of fun and um, it's a great, great area to live in. Um, my dream is to someday have a big estate here in Holmby Hills. So we're continuing on Sunset Boulevard and we're still, you can see they're selling star maps. <laughs> Very common here, there's about three or four vendors that are here every day selling the star maps. After all, this is quote unquote Hollywood and uh, everyone comes here and wants to see the stars. Actually, just to the left here, I don't know if you can see the house, but that used to be the home of Zsa, Zsa Gabor. And we're continuing on here in Holmby Hills and shortly uh, up here on our left is the home that Michael Jackson lived in when he recently passed away. Actually, it's the home right there where there's a star maps behind the hedges. That is the home that uh, Michael Jackson was living in when he recently passed away. And uh, in about one moment when we see those flashing lights ahead of us, we're going to enter the city of Beverly Hills. So as you can see, Holmby Hills is a very small little community. And now we're entering into Beverly Hills proper. Uh, this is again Sunset Boulevard. This house uh, over here, actually not that one, the one we're coming up right now, you can't see it behind the hedges, is for sale for $16 million. Quite a stunning uh, newer construction Mediterranean, about 10 years old. And again, part of Beverly Hills and these major properties, you really can't see much from the street. I mean, everything is hedged, walled, gated. Uh, this is a small private park that someone we knew actually um, gave to uh, the city back about 20 years ago. There's a new construction contemporary. A little bit unusual. There's an old dilapidated teardown in Beverly Hills. God, that one's got to be torn down soon. And uh, we're continuing on Sunset Boulevard. And uh, I don't know if you can see in the distance, but that's the Shoreham Towers, one of the most popular condo buildings here in West Los Angeles, in West Hollywood, actually. And that's the far eastern edge of Beverly Hills. And uh, so we're now heading kind of towards the central part of the residential area in Beverly Hills, which is kind of the Beverly Hills Hotel. That's kind of, I would say, the center point of Beverly Hills and Beverly Hills Post Office here in the Beverly Hills area. And we're arriving there now, and you can see off to the right there. Let's see if I can zoom in on the sign. Oh, can't zoom in. There's a dog, dog uh, cleaning truck going on. And this is uh, typical, you know, 2 o'clock in the afternoon rush hour traffic here in Beverly Hills.